Guys, hit that like button down below in five seconds if you are hyped for four nightmares. I'm curious just how many of you are excited for this event to finally come back. All right, guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video. And speaking of which, this video is all about Fort Nightmares. That is right, guys. The new update just came out and there is so much to talk about. Map changes, new loot sources, new ways of moving around the map, new enemies, new skins, and a bunch more. So with that being said, guys, be sure to watch this video all the way through so that you are fully up to date on the Fort Nightmares stuff. And also hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications if you want to join the under 2 million club do it fast because we are getting super close and you don't want to miss it also if you want to help support these videos be sure to use code the llamaser in the item shop as an epic partner that helps support the channel and i appreciate it a ton but without further ado here let's go ahead and jump on into it all right guys let's go ahead and hop into it with all of this new fort nightmare stuff there is so much to go over so let's go ahead and first show you like some map changes then after that we've got a ton more what's up iron man you ready for some fort nightmare stuff this guy's ready over here with the Skull Trooper. But yeah, this first change is a very interesting one. And if you want to see it yourself, you want to go next to Holly Hedges right into this building. Now, this first one is a bit of a small change. We'll get into the bigger ones as the video progresses. And here we are, the Boo Store. Well, there's actually not too much here at the moment, but you can see that it says New Landmark Hey Boo Mega Store. And you've obviously got this sign right here. However, if you go inside, there's not much at the moment you've got this sign behind the uh, counter and then they also updated this for like the dressing rooms and things like that now that's not the interesting part this is just the beginning for this location because it seems like it's going to be updated throughout october with more and more stuff added to it as it goes along now let's move on to a map change that is even bigger and then we've got a third one that is the most important out of all of them however if you head over back into holly hedges you will notice that some of the houses have these really spooky decorations on them. You've got this giant cobweb with a huge spider on it. If we go around to the front, you've got uh, like an orange light projected on it. Looking again, very spooky. A pumpkin that we can get a little bit of wood from. Oh, and look at this, a candy bucket. That's awesome. And then we could like ring the doorbell for some candy or something like that. Got another cobweb over there, another spider. So the Fortnite map is starting to get into the Halloween spirit. Now also guys, a bunch of the other locations have similar changes to that. Like for example, let's check out Salty Springs. If you head over to this building, it has some special decorations and there are a lot of people going here. This might be a problem, but if you glide by, you can see all the fog, the inflatable tube guy out front. Real quick, let's break through here and get some loot. Things are gonna get busy. Let's grab this rare chest. Okay, that is not what I wanted, but I guess we got some shields. I think we've got somebody inside here, but like if we real quick take a look at the front, you've got the inflatable guy, the inflatable witch, the fog, which looks super spooky. And somebody's Bye. down here. Gotcha, buddy. He took off a lot of our health, though. So we're not looking too good right now. Oh, got him for 36. Oh, there's a big battle going on. Man, it's like impossible to hit those guys. Hello, buddy. Yeah, I get eliminated. Ooh. How are we still alive? We have like no health. And then like one final quick one, in Doom's Domain, you've got these decorations out front with the scarecrows, more candy, which is looking delicious, spooky green lights, a gargoyle, and some ghosts up here. It looks so cool. Now guys, real quick, I just found something pretty interesting. I was looking in replay and found this floating block inside of one of the Halloween houses. Now I think I know what this is, and I'm gonna tell you towards the end of the video, but I'm curious if you guys know what it is. So leave a comment down below with your guess and see if you're right. Now, before we get into it with the most important map change, let's talk about some leaks as well. Something super interesting that just recently got discovered by Hypex is that there are going to be special, like, Halloween-themed loot chests. Now, I know that might sound a little bit confusing, so just take a look, like, at the tweet itself right here, the first of which is the broom box, which also references brooms mobility. We'll talk more about that in just a second. And then you've got the candy bucket. Now, what's very interesting about this 
this is that during that bit of gameplay I just showed you, we found a bunch of candy buckets around the map. Like, they're already here. Now, granted, we can't search them quite yet, but we will likely be able to search them very, very soon. And considering that more, like, houses are going to get decorations in the near future, it would make sense that we'll see more candy buckets. But then that begs the question, what are we going to be able to find inside of these buckets? Well, also, according to Hypax, he said upcoming consumables. There are a bunch here. W Broom, which also references the broom mobility that we could be seeing. Again, there's more about that. We'll talk about it here in just a second. But first of all, you've also got Pepperming, which I think might actually be Peppermint, Hop Drop, Candy Corn, Jelly Bean, and Thermal Taffy. Now, as you can tell from all of those names, they are all candy-themed names. So it's looking like these candy buckets are actually going to be similar to the fruit or vegetable boxes that we can already use around the map currently that give us special consumables, but instead of those boxes, it's going to be candy buckets, and instead of like the fruits and vegetables, we're going to get these special candies. Now, some of them are a bit of a mystery, but like the hop drop obviously is going to be similar to the hop flopper. It's going to give you a bit of low gravity for a bit, let you jump around a bit higher. Also, the thermal taffy is very clearly similar to the thermal fish, which will let you see enemies very easily for a bit of time. And in fact, the other ones are probably going to be similar to fish as well. Probably have one that gives you shield. I think the peppermint is probably going to be the one that's like the spicy fish since it has like pepper in the name. It'll make you move faster. And like candy corn is probably going to give you health or something like that. So that's very interesting in and of itself. But again, what does the one that references a broom mean? Well, considering that there is like a special loot chest called the broom box and also the consumable called the W broom, it's looking like we could maybe get a mobility item that is a broom. Like imagine flying a broom around the map or using it similar to like the silver surfers board. That could be a possibility as well. And if you guys have ideas, leave them down below in the comments. I'm curious to see what you guys have to say. Not only that, there was also an emote found in the files that has you ride a broom. So that could be very similar to how the ability would work, but obviously a lot faster. And like a few extra details about that emote, it is called the Witch Way emote. It's unclear if it's going to be in the item shop or it's going to be a free reward for Fort Nightmares itself. Obviously, we're going to most likely get a bunch of rewards for Fort Nightmares. But yeah, it's in the files ready to go. So I'm excited to see it. Now, heading back onto the map, guys, this change is super important for Fort Nightmares. Although it's kind of small, it implies something very interesting. And specifically, once we're now on the battle bus, we need to go down to the authority. Now, you may remember in my last Fort Nightmares video, we talked about how there's files that were found in regards to a like zombie Midas boss. And then there was this concept made by Denny, which is still an awesome concept. But now we have another thing that is referencing and also pretty much confirming where zombie Midas is going to have his location and also those, you know, henchmen that Hypex had also pointed out. The ghostly ghost henchmen. But if we go up here, we've got maybe somebody following us. Let's just go inside of here and grab this chest right here. Perfect. All right. I think somebody's like way down below us, but we'll be all right. Okay. But yeah, if you look right over here, you will see that there was one small change made to this area and that is Midas's golden seat has been added up here. That's right. So that essentially means that this is going to be the location of zombie Midas. This is going to be... Okay, this is a little bit... <laughs> Makes me nervous here. Oh, got him for a little bit. Ooh. Got him again. Let's go, buddy. Can't take us out while we're talking about zombie Midas. But yes, it is looking like the authority is going to be his location, which is what we predicted. I mean, nothing's here. You've got these cobwebs, which were a part of the challenge even. So that too points towards zombie Midas being here. Why else would they have a challenge with the authority all of a sudden? And like, as you can see right here, can I break this? There we go. <laughs> break all three of those and you get, you know, a completed challenge. So I'm excited for this location to be turned into a new boss location for Fort Nightmares. Now after that, guys, before we talk about some skins, let's circle around back to this thing right here that I showed you earlier. Do you know what it is? Well, I'm 99% sure this is actually for the ghost effect that happens to some of the furniture around the map. Now, I know you might be wondering what exactly that means. If you weren't here for last Fort Nightmares or maybe the one before that, around October and Halloween, some of the furniture on the map would occasionally like start randomly floating. Yeah, it, 
was pretty spooky and kind of just random, didn't really have a point to it, but I remember back then going into replay mode and finding a similar square above certain pieces of furniture that were floating. Now, I don't think it's enabled quite yet in game. It's probably going to happen very, very soon, but leave a comment down below. Have you seen any weird floating furniture? I'm curious to see. But moving on here to the final thing I want to talk about in this video, we got to talk about a few skins and things like that. Obviously, when October and Fortnite Nightmares comes around, Fortnite releases a ton of Halloween themed skins, and like for example, a few of the leaked ones, there is Midnight Dusk, which is this one right here, pretty interesting overall. These are all a part of a pack, you have also got Night Surf Bomber, which is this one. They're all similarly themed, and there should be one more, I think it might be Grimoire? Oh, not that one, Arachne Couture, I think that's how you pronounce it. Those three are all in a pack, and also speaking of packs, you may have seen one of them that is pretty interesting, the Ultimate Reckoning Pack, I think it's called. It's actually in the game right now. You can check it out. And like, it's got a bunch of interesting skins inside of it. It's got like this vampire type skin, which I think is the equivalent to, oh, I'm forgetting the name of it. But that one's pretty solid. Comes with two different styles and of course a back bling. You've also got violet, which is super cool. I mainly like the back bling on this one because it's uh the wings and the wings are obviously awesome. So those are pretty sick. And then finally is this skin right here, the La Parca skin, which is pretty interesting. I like how it and also the back bling that it has has this effect where it like drops leaves fall colored leaves or maybe they're petals for flowers or something like that but either way that's pretty cool in and of itself and there hasn't been too many other skins leaked so expect them in the next update which is probably going to be in like two weeks or so but anyways guys that is going to be it for today's video that is all of the info so be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more fort nightmares videos there's a lot going to be coming out and also check out some of my previous videos on the screen right now such as how to get to level 215 super fast. But again, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one.